Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and today I am filming a requested video. Um, quite a few of you know that I've got um, two new humidifiers recently, and a lot of people have been asking my opinions on them, and also in comparison to my Aleco Homes humidifier. So, I wanted to just do a no, no. I just wanted to do a review of them. Um, I was kindly um, gifted the um, Mist and Zen humidifiers, which I'll be talking about in this video. But I purchased this one um, last year for a birthday treat. I think it was my thirtieth last year, and I remember just justifying it that way because I thought this was expensive and. Before you buy something, you don't know how good it will be. You obviously do loads of like research and reviews, but until you have it, you don't know if you think it would be worth as much as you pay. So today I'm just gonna go over the um, the benefits of each one because I suppose they're different, like they're all different sizes. I've got a small, medium, large. I've got a, a um, battery powered one. Um, I've got one that can be plugged in by um, USB. I've got one that is constantly in the mains. Um, so they all have like different um, different settings, um, different kind of like um, mist kind of like speeds, like loads of different things. So I'm going to go into them um, and I'll show you how they work as well and my personal real opinion on them. So I'm going to start with the Aleco Homes one, um, which is this one. This is the one I've had for, like I say, over a year. I have been using it on and off over a year. Um, I haven't been using it in the summer months because it's been so humid I've not needed it and and a good thing about this one is I don't know if you can see it on camera um it shows you the humidity like reading so this says it's 44 percent humidity um it's quite low I feel like it's um more humid because it's been raining um a lot so sometimes I do question if that's right but it might just be me so that says it's 44 percent I used to sit at around 60, so you can set the humidity on this. Um, so I would just turn it on and I would set the intensity. Um, so this is the level, so say 65, um, and then the intensity. So that's low, uh, medium, and it takes a little while because it hasn't been on for, I haven't used this for <laughs> maybe about three or four weeks. Um, and then that's higher. Um, there we go that's higher so it does have like a really nice display along with it you get a remote control as well so you've got your on off um you've got your min um and max your timer your humidity setting screen on off i never use that i think it's for like when you're sleeping and you don't want it heating it has like um warm like humidity like warm mist and cool mist um child lock and sleep so i think that just turns off i don't use this um However, if I lived in a place, if I had kids, I don't, I don't know the rules around humidity and kids, but I feel like I've seen people use them for children's rooms and stuff. So I suppose this would be quite helpful if you wanted to sneak in and you know, like just switch it on and off without going into the room. And it does have somewhere where in here where you can put some oil as well. Um, I obviously don't use that because I use it for plants as. I think a lot of people who buy humidifiers use them for plants these days. Um, so yeah, I I like it um, a lot. I really do like it a lot. I really do rate it. Um, I can move it so I can have it this way. I used to have it facing me when I, at night time because it was a bit like relaxing. Um, yeah, so I can, I can move it. I can have both together because there's two little ones that you can move. Um, but yeah, I think it works well for me. Um, I never, when I first got this, this is the second one I've got. The first one didn't do um, warm mist um, and it kind of just malfunctioned when I had it on warm mist. Um, I had to, I reached out to Aleco Homes. They said, send us a video. They saw it was like problematic and they just, they sent another one out without asking for the old one back. Um, so I just gave the other one away. Um, but I, I never used it for the reason it wouldn't handle it. But I do like the warm mist because these are tropical house plants and I appreciate the warm mist. So I do enjoy that. Um, but yeah, that is that one, it's top fill. You literally can take this top lid off and it's like a bucket. You take it to the sink, you fill it up. It's so good. 
it holds, I don't even know how much, it holds a lot. Um, if I left this, if I woke up, turned it on, like I used to, turned it off at night time, um, I think this would last me two or three days, if I remember correctly. Um, and also, when it gets like really, really powerful, my grow light is like on the top shelf. That grow light is actually waterproof. Like that is mad, but it's waterproof. Um, and I was always nervous about that, but until Growstyle told me that was waterproof, I felt so comfortable with this being there. Um, it's almost like they thought that like humidity, like humidifiers and like there would be like moisture in the air if people are using grow lights and more likely gonna have a humidifier. So good one, Growstyle. Um, but yeah, I really like this one um, and I'm going to talk to you about my two new ones as well. So this one is my new um, humidifier from um, Mist and Zen. I, I love the detailing of it, like I love this like leather blue handle. I think this humidifier is just so pretty. Can you see there's a light on it as well? I don't know if you can see at the moment. Um, but I think this is so, so, so aesthetically pleasing. It's my kind of style. They do it in loads of different colours as well. And I was so torn because the other colours are really me as well. But I was just thinking about a new house. Um, didn't know what my, you know, style would look like. I'm a naturally a very colourful person anyway. So it's hard to fight your natural style. But I wanted to go safe and I like the white against the green. I think it's like, I'm used to that and I think it's really pretty. So I did go for the white one. Um, this has so many different settings on it as well. Like obviously less, more like humidity. You've got your lights, like you can see. This one charges up by, um, it's got the charging port at the back. Um, so USB or the normal one. And you just plug it in and charge it and then it's portable. So I have a plant bench in my bedroom, as we all know. Um, a lot of people actually comment about how much they like this plant bench and I really, really like it. It sits in the window, it's really lovely. My husband made it from like an old bed a neighbor was throwing out. Um, and it's a really special bench. And I've had it for about a year and a half, but there's no plug points near it. And the plants there really suffer because they don't get any humidity, like extra humidity. And, in the UK, we're not blessed with tropical climates, you know, like our plants like. Um, so this for me, when they reached out to me, I was so happy because I didn't, I didn't know there were decent size capacity humidifiers that could handle um, being portable, you know? So I'll turn it on and then you can see it's got one in use. And then obviously the more you do, once it kind of sets in, it will pick up the second one. So it will set a level of humidity and then the second one will then start to work. Um, you can also, if you hold it down, you see how the color changes. I don't know if you're picking it up. So that's like a yellow, that's like a green, that's off. Then it goes to this color, which I have it on. And I really like this because again, I feel, and when I first got this, I've had this for a month now, I used to sit it next to like a little, um, just a little wooden stool. Um, and I used to have it next to me when I was sleeping and that was such a nice light, you know, like, not like a, a night light, cause that's what kids have, but I really liked it. It was really relaxing. And can you hear this? I find that so relaxing. I love that. Like this one's more of a, mm, and it like, you can tell when that's on because it's like, mm, and it just, you, it's just noisy. It's just like electronic, but this one's like really calming and just so gentle. I love this one. Um, so yeah, this one is um, another one that has like the capacity like up to here. So you unscrew the top, you fill it up, you put it back on and then jobs are good. In. Um, and to be honest, it runs out of battery before I have to refill it. So that shows how big this is. Um, and I think I haven't tried it because I don't have, this is me being unorganized. I don't have like um, long enough extensions. You know, you can get um, USBs that will kind of like, I can plug a USB into this and then plug it into a wall and use it mains as well. I haven't got one long enough. So if I did that, then I'd be using it that way as well. Cause 
I've got a spot over there where I could, but I just don't, I don't use it for that because I, my plant bench really loves this and my plants around there are really happy with it. So that's where it lives. Um, and you just see, it's just like such a nice, like it's dry as well. It's not like a wet um, mist. It's like a really nice dry mist, which is obviously what you want. Um, so yeah, I think this is lovely. It's um, detailing, like I say, is really nice. H2O um, humidifier and this little handle so you can carry it around. And again, you don't have to just use this for plants. Like if you did have kids or you wanted to just better your sleep, I understand that this really helps like with sleep. You can literally just take it with you places. And um, depending if you travel a lot, then that would be really convenient. If you don't, then you can have it next to your bed and it will kind of like run out. You can set a timer if you plug it in or if you just want it portable because you don't have any kind of plug points near your bed like me. It's just a really, really nice option to those people that don't have those little facilities. So before I show you the third and final one, which is the smallest, um, Mist and Zen have really kindly given me a discount code for anyone who wants to purchase one of their humidifiers from them. They're an Australian based company, um, but they do ship worldwide, hence why I have one in the UK. And they've given me discount code ABBY15, and I'll put it on the bottom of the screen, and that will give you 15% off your total order value, which is um, really exciting because I wish I had that kind of like discount code when I found this one. And I remember there was loads and loads and loads of discount codes for Canadians and like Americans, but in the UK, I had to pay, pay full whack for that. So if you're anything like me and you want a little bit of discount, whether it be 10, 15, 20%, then go ahead and use that code for 15% off. So the third and final one, and I'll do um, like B-roll, I think they call it, um, over so you can see this in action, is this really cute, small travel one um and i say it's small it's really again not that small so it's a really nice kind of like easy to fill like carton <laughs> and um it's again really easy to like just put back on it's that other one the bigger one is like a screw top um that one's a bit of a clip and this one is just it's kind of got that nice like um little function where it's just nice and easy to put on and um, this obviously comes corded like the other one does this one I have only ever used um, plugged in. I do think it is one that has to be plugged in, but I have this next to my next to my laptop, <laughs> um, which always freaks me out, but I have this next to my laptop because it's like a USB one. And I have it there because, as you may or may not know, I have my varicose in there. And honestly, ever since I've had this, my leaves have just been like stood up, like thick, like just more prominent, if that makes sense. They just look happier. Um, and I've never ever um, exposed that varicose into a humidifier ever. So I, because uh, I've, that's massive. It's all the way over here. The other portable one I got from Amazon for like, I don't know, um, 12 pounds. I think it was 12 pounds. It was absolutely naff. It was really bad. Um, and I bought it thinking it would do my whole flat. I really was completely naive. Um, but this one I just put under my varicosum and like the cluster of little plants there. Um, and it's like, it's so nice. You can see how much humidity kind of like is created around it. And I just think that plant has to be absolutely happy. Like I really love it. Yeah, it comes in many different colors. Again, I went for white and um, just to keep it nice and simple, but I love it. Um, and it's got a single like um, humidity like hole there. And it's just really nice and easy. It's so small, it can kind of like fit in anywhere, you know? Um, but another one, if you had like a plug, um, I don't know, like a plug, like a, an iPhone plug, you could plug this into the wall and just take it many different places. It doesn't have to go into your computer. So I really hope that explains what kind of humidifiers you can get um, depending on your budget. Um, as we've gone along, I've put the prices um, on the screen of each one um, and a few other bits like the capacity of them. Um, so if you're new to humidifiers or you just want to test it out and see if it's right for you, um, definitely recommend going small. Um, I started small, um, same size as the travel one. And then when I got a bigger, larger collection and I, I bought plants that really did need humidity more. So it was my variegated monstera I was worried about, although it doesn't need humidity that that much. Um, my alocasia, um, calathea, all those kind of plants, then 
you might want to invest in a bigger one. It all depends on your personal situation. Um, but I love that there's these three different options. You don't have to go out and spend like so much money. I think these now retail, these Aleco homes, um, I think they now retail about 80 or 90 pounds. They're like really expensive. Um, don't get me wrong, they've got all the funky gadgets. They're like large tanks that they are very fancy, but they are very expensive. Um, whereas the other ones are very inexpensive. So, so if you do want to go check out Mist and Zen, um, I put the details down below. So their website, I put two links. So the um, the link to the humidifiers that I have, and also that discount code Abby15 for 15% off. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer you straight away. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.